Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. A spacious family hauler that's a blast to drive the AMG GLB35. This Mercedes-Benz has a 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder with an 8-speed dual-clock transmission, 302 horsepower and 295 pound of it of torque, standard all-wheel drive. The EMG GLB35 is a 5 seater SUV with an optional third row for $850. It has sharp handling and engaging drive. It is easy to maneuver in and out of the city traffic and has a lot of power when pacing on the highway. It has an AMG exhaust system, AMG ride control suspension with a choice of comfort, sport, and sport plus, mod plus a double wishbone front and a multi link rear suspension. Its overall performance is very strong. The GLB right height and large door make it easy to get in and out of the vehicle and the boxy design provide excellent visibility creating an open cabin. I think this has a bit of mini countryman look to it but longer. What do you think? Standard features include LED headlight and the like, twin tailpipes, and AMG specific grille with a lead ring, an AMG high performance brake system, and standard 19 in wheels, available 20 in and 21 in wheels. Our test model has the AMG Nike package with a black exterior accent, 21 in black AMG wheels, and multi beam LED headlight to up the sportiness. What do you get for $49,950 US dollar? Dual 10.25 inch screen including a touch screen and digital driver display, heated front seat, leather red and a fox suite, upholstery, power driver seat with memory, panoramic sunroof, 64 color ambient lightning, power folding side mirror, and a power lift gate. In the US, the panoramic sunroof and heated front seat are not standard. However, in the US, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plus blind spot monitoring and a rear cross traffic alert are standard. Okay guys, what do you think about 2022 Mercedes AMG GLB35? Please leave comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button too. Thank you.